Hello everybody. Today I'm sharing with you my Timu haul for November. This is the part one video. I will have two videos this month. Before I get started, I just want to remind everyone that Timu is an online marketplace. There are many different sellers under the banner of Timu. Uh, they have free shipping worldwide and they also offer a free 90 day returns. There is a discount code for those who'd like to sign up and use the app for Timu and I will have that on the screen. I will also have it in the description box below. So let's get started with the first video and it has mainly paper crafting but um, a couple of other things in it as well. So the first thing I got was a large capacity portable travel duffel bag. It's a it's, it's labeled as a men's travel bag. And I got this in the color blue. Um, looks like it's a really good size actually. It's actually for my son because he's been using one of my um, bags and I thought this was probably a better choice for him. It's 18 inches which is 46 centimeters approximately um, and the width of it is eight about uh, no about nine inches which is 23 centimeters um, and the, well I can't really put Oh yes I can, there we go it is, I can give you the height as well. The height is 10 inches approximately, which is 25 and a half centimetres. It seems to have some good pockets on the outside, you just wind that up. We have a, a pocket on the end of the duffel bag here, which the zip works both ways by the look of it. So that's a, oh, and that goes, that goes all the way inside. Oh, that's great for shoes and things like that, I would think. Um, or dirty clothes. There's a little thread there that I will cut off up before it gets stuck into the um, zipper. Okay, on that side there is a, a loop, I guess, to hang things from. Also have another zipper pocket which goes down. Nice um, sturdy zips on it as well. Have a pocket here, a pleated pocket at the front here. And on the other side we have one of those things that so you can put it over a rolling bag as well. When you get little threads, sometimes there's two different kinds of threads. Ones that are still attached and you need to snip them and be careful not to snip any of the stitching. Then you sometimes get little threads like this and this is just like that's got caught up in it and they just pull straight out. Um, which is just, it's a normal thing when, you're, when something's been stitched. I know this is a little bit hard to see, so we have a, a longer strap with these. Now these are just plastic, they're not metal. Um, he's not taking this overseas with him, this is just a bag for going to friends places and things like that to throw his stuff in. Great also if you are a gym enthusiast, you can take it to the gym. So that must be that long pocket inside there. Okay, and there's also this pocket here. Oh, I see. That is this pocket here. So you have separate that pockets. This one and the one that goes underneath, which is that one, um, for wet or really dirty things, like your shoes or your sweaty clothes or dirty clothes. I 
okay. I'm very pleased with that and I sh I'm sure he will be very pleased with that as well. So let's just move that out of the way and we can get on to <laughs> more fun stuff. And the next thing I have, I got some washi tape. I got two packets of this because from previous washi tapes I've received, the rolls aren't that big. So let's just have a look. So you, they're not huge rolls of washi tape. So I thought these looked like really nice muted colours. Um, and something a little bit different that I don't already have. And that's always nice, isn't it? So I have two boxes of those lovely little washi tapes. The next thing I got was a, a couple of Christmas things. I rarely buy Christmas papers, but I decided it would be fun because I need to make myself another um, Christmas journal this year. So I got these Christmas stickers and they are, well, that's what they're called, Christmas stickers. You get 40 stickers in the pack. So we'll have a little look at what they look like. I have very little um, crafting goodies that are Christmas themed. I've used pretty much what I've got. So, And they are white on the outside, but it's easy enough to get your, you know, little... Um, brushes, ink them up and just go like that around the edge and it will blend into your tea stained or coffee stained papers if that's the way you want to go. So I'm thinking they probably have two of each. So that's quite nice and it is early in the morning here today and quite overcast so I'm hoping it's um, bright enough for you. These are quite cute. Sweet little stickers and they are a normal kind of sticker they're not a washi tape although I've, I better check first but I'm quite sure they just okay there we go yet yeah, they're a solid sticker so you get a really nice they're very quite happy looking aren't they that one, little church, very snowy and although we don't get snow here I don't mind using it, it's a nice touch, I like that one, that one's cute, look at that, that one's pretty isn't it? And Santa if you do the whole Santa thing. Little red truck. Hmm, quite like those. Ooh, little drink. Candles. Very nice. Very nice. So that's our Christmas stickers. They should last for some time. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got some Christmas paper, and I really like the look of this. This is 24 pieces. There's 12 different designs, and you get two of each design, and they measure six by six inches. traditional colours in them but lots of um, 
pale backgrounds, which is really nice. So that's, you can cut those ones out. And there's two of those. And that one there as well. Oh, very nice. I like those. And then I got two more sets, and I think they both came from the same post because they look very similar. One is called Snow Country Christmas, and this one is called Merry Christmas. So we will have a look at this one first. This is Snow Country Christmas, and there are one, one, two, three, four, that's nice, five, six, seven, Eight. So there are eight papers in each, and of course the papers measure about five and three quarters by eight. Oh, I like that one. That one's really nice. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, I do like that. And that one, that's lovely. Oh, I do like that one. That was the Merry Christmas set. Yes, I do like that one. Um, it's a bit deceiving. I wasn't sure I would like that, but I do like that. Hmm, very nice. I also got another pack of paper. Well, I got a couple. Um, these are not Christmas, but you could use them with Christmas because the colours are quite lovely. Or just for floral journals too that's pretty this is a six by six paper pad once again it has 12 different designs two sheets of each and this is called it doesn't have a name <laughs> I'll have it on the screen anyway what it is or where you can get it and in the description box below I will have links to everything. Now that's the cover page but you could quite easily use some of that in your crafting. Isn't that pretty? That's really nice. So you get two of each. Oh look at that. That's lovely. Oh. Beautiful colour. lovely isn't it so pretty I might have to get another one of these they're just lovely look at that and then that one there as well oh, it's very cottagey I love that really really love that one beautiful Okay, so the other papers I got were this one here, same again, six by six, two sheets of 12 different designs, and this one, it's just a, just background papers. 
So slight, they're, they're different color tones. So there's purple in it, which I don't really use a lot, but not a lot. I think that's it for purple. So I can't grumble at that. And so it goes into shades of blue. They're nice quality paper actually. I wonder, I don't know if it says how much they weigh, but it's not flimsy. Like it's got, it's got a nice feel to it. And that one on the back there. Oh, they're lovely. Very nice. 160 GSM. Very nice. And so is this one here. Um, they look like actually that they're very similar, aren't they? Very nice. Very happy. And then I got this one. It's totally different for me because it's darker shades. But I thought, you know, it's... It's probably a good idea to have some darker tones to work with. They're lovely though, aren't they? Look at that. They're quite lovely actually. Like that. And then that one on the back. Oh, very nice. And different for me, but that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Okay, pop that over there. Now I have oh, still more paper, lots of papers. Oh, this one looks wonderful. This is called Black and White Paradise. You get a hundred sheets of watercolor flower material paper. So it's like it's not as thick as these ones, but it's I've had this similar kind of um, similar kind of paper before um, and it's really nice especially for collaging and things oh aren't they lovely work very well in neutral kinds of journals and things or crafting in general just flick through so it might not show you every single one of them I love those grey ones they're beautiful So there's that one. And then there's this one. This is a, a purple pink type of look. This one's called Iris Multicolor. I don't think I actually ordered this one. I think I may have ordered another one and it wasn't available, so they sent me this one. So 
because this is in colors I rarely use what I might do is put this aside um, for my Christmas giveaway that I'm going to have and include it in that because it's silly for me to keep something that I know I probably will never use but it's beautiful isn't it and I know lots of people love these purple tones so that's what I'm going to do with that one so I'll pop that one back in here and I'm just going to pop it over on my little shelf here where I've got some other things that I'm going to be putting in my giveaway okay so I got another one and this one I did order and this one is called first love flower language <laughs> it's on backwards that's okay they still work <laughs> This one's got all pink tones. It's beautiful, isn't it? Add that nice splash of colour in a project. So there's that one I got and I also got this this one doesn't have a name on it okay so this one has 40 pieces of paper in it uh, I think it's E5 that's all I can see so the it, it when you order they usually have like A1 or B2 or something like that and this one is E5 okay let's have a look at this one then oh, we have two covers on that <laughs> I could use some of that then across there something there that might work um, two of each by the look of it and these are background kind of papers they're very nice actually they've got that distressed edge on them as well Paisley design there. Okay. Very nice. A little bit different, isn't it? Okay, and almost done with the papery things now. Put that over there. Whoops. And I also got these, and these are what do they call them? Let me just say. These are 100% cotton watercolour paper pads. These are hot press paper pads. And just let me open them. <clears throat> okay, so this 
one is just a lovely little size. Um, oh, they're nice and thick. 300 GSM. And you get 12 sheets in a pad. Um, like I said, 100% cotton hot press. And 6.8 centimeters by 15, which is six inches by two and three. What's that? Just over two and a half inches. I don't work in inches very well. So they're really nice. I've got two of those and I also got this. Now this is sometimes when you get a watercolor pad it's it's called a block I think and the page, pages are all stuck together all the way around. Well this is a little tool uh, for opening those pages up. It's called a, a willow leaf sealing paper cutter. Hmm, it's for undoing your watercolour blocks, which I thought would come in handy because I do have a couple and I was worried how I was going to open them and I saw a picture of this and so decided to get one for myself. So hopefully that will be very useful. Okay, let's put that knife away. And the last thing for this video that I'm going to... Oh no, I've still got a couple more things. Don't want to forget anything this month. Okay, I ordered a little brush. And this, it's, it's actually for in your car to, you know, clean all the crevices out in your car. I thought of my desk <laughs> I thought it would be more useful on my desk and this is a white rhinestone one and so it's just I just thought for cleaning my desk you know you're ever forever sort of getting all the little bits out of everywhere it's really nice and glamorous for in my craft room, isn't it? And that's really soft as well. So that will come in very useful. But they actually sent me two. And this one is a pink rhinestone one. So I'm going to put that in the giveaway thing. Um, because I don't need two of these. So I'm going to put that in with my giveaway stuff as well. That's very handy, isn't it? So I like that a lot. And I also got, uh, I got a game. I got a game. Uh, ages 14 plus, two plus players. I should have known that. So it's a trivia game called I Should Have Known That. Things like, how do you say Japan in Japanese? Is a penguin a bird? How long did Sleeping Beauty actually sleep? I got that for Christmas because we've always played games on Christmas Day and we're actually going to have a trophy this year. So I thought that would be something we haven't tried before. So that's why I got that. So I'll let you know how that goes after Christmas if I remember. And then I also got another one of these. I was so happy with the one I got last month. Um, the, oh, hello Molly. That I decided to order another one and this is a Christmas small red fruit. Um, there are different varieties of it but if you look on the screen or in the description box below it will tell you which one this is because it's it just has a no a nice variety of berries and things on it and I think it's about a meter long if I recall Let me just check on that if I can find it it's a red berry rat and artificial um, 
working. It doesn't give me the... Oh, hang on. It's about 1.4 metres. So I'm not sure what that is in yards. I'll try and look it up and put it on the screen now. So there we go. That's my first video for Timu for November. The second one has lots of bling in it. So you might enjoy that one as well. So take care, everybody. And I'll put all the information in the description box below if you're interested in any of these things. Bye.